Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Balvini, 14 year Caribbean cask. And yoga. We're gonna be doing some crouching dog, diving warrior. And I have no idea what I'm talking about, but he's gonna show me. Let's test it. Test it! Bart, come on. Oh my. We're doing yoga, not disco. Is either this or nude. <laughs> well, you definitely fit the tight fitting clothing. You do not want nude, baby. All right, just get Bart started here with some, some basic stretches, get him a little bit limber. <laughs> Actually, is, you already said you didn't need any. There is, yeah, I don't need stretching, but there is no limber. If we start doing so yoga stretching, or something. Yeah, if we start doing yoga stretching, that will be my yoga. So, because I am not, my, I have very long tendons. <laughs> yeah. Bring your toes back towards you. Yeah, Rest on your happening. calves. <laughs> See, yeah. Can you grab your toes? No. One hand? No. Try it. Uh, act right there. <laughs> <laughs> can you grab the inside of your t feet? Underneath my knee. I can get that. <laughs> <laughs> you would benefit from yoga. I would. That's why we're here. I would benefit from yoga. <laughs> now, lower yourself. Stretch your right leg back behind you. Come down on your elbows. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Also, I am kind of violating Bart's got the tight clothing on, hence uh, Lululemons, uh, yoga pants, most people, when you're doing yoga, what's a Lululemons? Tight pants, tight fit, tight fitting clothing is ideal. You don't want your clothing getting in the way. Bart is ideal here. So you should have a speedo. Lululemons. You know what Lululemons are? Nope. It's like Under Armour, basically, but they make for women yoga pants. Yeah. Lululemons. Yeah. Hmm. I've seen juicy. What was that? Yeah, that's just uh, Walmart. <laughs> that's Walmart. <laughs> All right, we're ready for our yoga. You ready? Ready. Warrior. Do what you do. Do what I do. I like the sound of this one. Warrior. Take your breath. Back up. Take your breath. This is the favorite part of the yoga that I like right here. This is better than downward baby or child at rest. Upward, upward baby. What was the deal where you were laying down? Oh, child's pose. Child's pose. We're going to call yes. that baby at rest is what I call it. Child's pose is very relaxing. At the end of the workout, you go through your workout, you move into child's pose and you just relax. How long are you in that? If you're in a yoga class, do you spend 15 minutes in baby's Oh, pose? no, a minute. Baby stretch? A minute, maybe two minutes. Oh, it's not enough. It's the same as a stretch. Yeah, I mean, gotcha. it's... All right, well, the Balvini Caribbean cast. Again, mm. Balvini is, is cast in oak, and then they move it over to another cask. In this case, it's a rum cask. Mm -hmm. So Caribbean rum. Um, we've got some down. Let's, uh, we'll do a little nosing, by the way. 
There's nothing better on a yoga mat than nosing scotch. That's all I'm saying. Well, maybe there's something better. It is the reward of a good session, right yes. there. Yes. What do you get? Um, I get a sweetness on the nose and maybe a little bit of a licorice. What are you pulling? Um, that sweetness, to me, at first I thought brown sugar, and now I think it's a cotton candy hmm. type sweetness um, on the nose. I get an oak. I get a little bit of a maltiness to it. Yeah, the, the this is the first time, and when I say licorice, I'm talking like that, a hint of that black licorice. Hmm. So yeah. my dad loved black licorice, so. Your dad loved black licorice. He did. You don't. It's okay now. I've always liked the strawberry or the cherry oh. nibs. Hello. Yeah. But yeah, dad would get the old black licorice and I think he half the reason he liked this because nobody would eat it. Probably so. Yeah, we had, there was four children in the house and if he had the black licorice, that was all his. Nobody wanted it. All right, so taste. I'm a big fan of the Balvini range. Um, I mean, even starting the, the base 12-year double wood mm -hmm. uh, that sat in sherry mm -hmm. casks. Then we move up to a 14-year that sat that's been moved into rum casks. Right. And it, I mean, it, this is a great transition. It's really, it's very smooth. Yes. Um, there's a very, very mild rum taste to it. A sweetness. That's where the, I get a honeyed sweetness out of the taste. A very, you're right, it almost has the smooth whiskey flavor that I'll get from Canadian whiskeys, that real smooth tenderness, mm -hmm. and then that that sweetness coming in from that, that rum. There's, I mean, there's, there's nothing that really jumps out at you and punches you mm -hmm. in the taste buds with it. You know, it's, it's just a good, smooth um, scotch. Right. Now, well, on the, on the taste, um, oh, that mild rum finish. And I, I, I have in my notes, it's almost like a white wine in mm. that it's kind of dry. Yeah. It's got a dry finish to it or a mouth feel. Right. I agree. I get a nice crispness to it. But yeah, the I will admit the flavor profile here, um, and maybe it's the hint of the name, but I can see myself on the beach enjoying this under an umbrella. Yes. I don't want the sun right on Doing me when I'm drinking this. Eh. Watching, watching people do you. yoga. I'd be like, wow, that was a good warrior. Upward warrior? Just warrior. It was just warrior. And reverse warrior. And reverse warrior. Yes. And then downward maybe. Um, water, to me, doesn't bring out any more of the flavor. It's, it's, it smooths it out a little bit and it brings down the alcohol content. But adding water to me didn't enhance any of the flavors or really bring them out anymore to me. 43% ABV. Um, very nice. Very nice. I wanted to give a little shout out. Is it Malt Claus? That, Klaus. Uh, Klaus. Sorry, Malt I'm Klaus. German and I should know it's Klaus. <laughs> My apologies, Germanic Klaus. Isn't he the one that explained on YouTube about the alligator char? He did. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, what's his what's his last name? Klaus uh, Dobelman. Dobelman. Thank you, Klaus. So we love to get those comments on YouTube. He came in. Yep. We had reviewed what what it was an American whiskey yep. that had the alligator charring. Mm -hmm. One of your favorites that we keep hearing about. Something to do with a bird. Wild turkey. Boom. Wild Turkey Barrel Select. I always forget. No, it's the eighty, just the eighty-one, wasn't it? Hmm. It's all of the, or it might be all of the wild turkeys of the age. In they the did end. it. They did what they call an alligator charring. Yeah, and I had no idea what that is. And uh, Malt Claus is his Twitter handle. Klaus. Klaus. Sorry. Wow. I am Germanic. At some, but very, very many moons removed. And he came on and explained that is a heavy, heavy barrel charring where the, the charcoal wood actually cracks and has the appearance of alligator skin. So that's alligator charring. Mm -hmm. Or like your feet. Bingo, like my big toe. What's, uh, what's your malt score on the Caribbean cask, Balvini 14 year? I'm gonna go with a clean 90. All right, I really like the smoothness. Balvini's 
just the, the way they, they double cask or multiple caskings, love it. What'd you put? I can't That's the same thing, 90. Really? Yep. Wow. Delicious. Yeah, it's just, uh, once again, I like to use Balvini's if I've got a brand new Scotch person, I like to open up um, with something milder, sweeter, lighter, and I will often do that even with a Balvini. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there's a few, but Balvini is definitely one of them that's included yeah. in that range. Yeah, because the sweetness kind of draws them in. I think most of them... There's nothing harsh. Right. A lot of people, their only Scotch encounter was with kind of a bottom shelf, maybe a, a rougher alcohol yeah. tasting scotch and they're like ooh and then i let them taste this and they're like wow so i this is something i will introduce as the very first in a flight when i have some kind of rookie scotch person all right we're doing the lotus the lotus hasn't been done with me <laughs> no. something cracked is that what since it is, i lotus? was 12. yeah this is I the full remember. lotus i believe and boom Bart's already getting more flexible. Bam, more flexible. It always helps when you've limbered up with the yoga and finished off with some scotch That's right. and crouching baby. Yep. <laughs> scotch test dummies, scotch it, you scotch gods. Salancha. Dummies. dummies. Yep. And yoga. Ooh, mm. crouching baby. That's right. Diving warrior. Showing my unlimberness how to do I believe that's Crouching Diving Warrior. That's tested. <laughs> tested!